Hello, this is Barrett from rhinestonealphabets.com and this brief tutorial is going to walk you through sizing your rhinestone alphabet fonts in WinPC software the easy way. Now what I have done to make this easy is I've taken each of my fonts and I have sized them for an SS6 stone, an SS10, and an SS16 stone in your font box of WinPC so that all you have to do once you've typed the word is go into the font box and type in the correct height and instantly you're going to have a font that is ready to use your rhinestone transformation tool and send to the cutter. Also um, by using my font conversion chart, you can easily convert an SS10 design down to an SS6 design. And sometimes that's very, very helpful, especially if you have a shirt that um, the design is too big for and you want an easy way to get it done quickly. Sometimes just reducing it down to an SS6 size is the best quickest way to do it. So I'm going to show you that particular method in this video and there's many other ways to reduce the size. We'll go at that in another video. But let's look at the simple line, single line simple font here. And this particular font in this font box is sized at a 2. So we'll put a 2 in the height for an SS10 stone. And let's go down and look at the height of this. This is 11.9 inches across. Now the single line simple thin is identical to this above font, but what I've done is made it narrower for a longer word. So this also is sized at a 2 for an SS10, but you can see it's quite a bit narrower. It's nine and a half inches. This last one is a single line small font and this one for an SS10 stone is sized at 1.33. And you can see right there that that one is uh, under eight and a half inches so that is the smallest. But again these two fonts are one and a half inches tall and this one's only one inch tall. Now let's do a duplicate of this these three words and we're gonna go in and resize this set to an SS6 because I want to visually show you how much smaller the design is instantly so first of all we'll go in the single line simple and if we look on the size chart this has to be reduced to 1.75 for an SS6 and the simple thin has to be reduced to 1.75 and then the single line small font has to be reduced to a, a 1.16 for an SS6. So now this one is down to 10 and a half inches from 12 inches. So that's a nice reduction. Let's put it right next to it. You can see it. This one's down to eight and a half inches from nine and a half. And this last one is down to seven inches, which is pretty significant. Now we're ready. If you're ready to cut, let's say you're choosing this particular one. Remember these are SS10. Open up your rhinestone transformational tool down at the bottom here and go to 13 which is 0.126 because that's what this is sized at and hit apply and add some color to that. Make sure you don't have your outline and that's ready to cut. We're going to do the same to this next one. Again, this is a 1.126 design. And 
The last one, we're going to hit it one more time. Hit apply. And this also is a 0.126 stone design. Now, these again are for an SS6 stone. So let's go in our rhinestone transformational tool, go down to a 10, and the stone size is 0.11, which is what these are sized at. And I want you to hit apply. And what that does, again, is that is making this font, which is a typable font, into individual little circles for the cutter. Again, hit apply here. And that one's ready to go. And hit apply here. And then that one's ready to go. So um, that's the end of this brief tutorial. And what I've done is shown you, number one, how to turn your rhinestone fonts into a, a, a circle uh, template ready to cut. And also how to reduce the size of your font instantly using uh, just a change in stone size. Thank you for watching.